Hey, what's happening, guys? Sorry about missing the video yesterday. We're like three weeks away from Blake heading off to college, so this is an unbelievably hectic time right now. I don't remember it being this hectic, oh, 35 years ago, 36 years ago, 1987 when I left high school. But, um, yeah, wow. Crazy. The world has really changed. All right, so anyway, what I have here in this relatively unassuming unmarked box. Nice box, by the way. The Chinese have really upped their packaging from the days when you used to get stuff in the, in the gray bags. So what we have here is some sort of medical device. This is a uh, red light therapy wand. What we got enhanced handheld pain relief laser instrument. What's well, laser? Ellie interesting class 3R laser enhanced handheld laser device for pain relief. Sorry, had a bit of a coughing fit there. So, where were we? Okay, enhanced laser device for pain relief GDPE class 3R laser internal electric source ex laser extravascular. Irradiation therapy. Now that sounds like hooey to me, but I don't know anything about it, so maybe it works. So we'll just evaluate the electronics. So we look here. We have a battery indicator, time, power, power button. 650 nanometer by 13. Tell me there's 13 diodes in there. Okay. And then we have 808 nanometers. So they're two separate color lasers okay that's interesting this device is used for humans and animals <laughs> oh dogly no i will not do that to her the laser diminishes inflammation reduces swelling right okay use twice a day preparation before treatment user turn on the laser Turn on the laser. Yes, turn on the laser. By pressing the power key for two seconds until screen displays. I didn't do anything. Try again. Nothing. How about on off? Well, how about pressing on off turns it on? They don't even have their instructions right. So we're showing full battery. Select treatment time by pressing the T button. That would be the time button. 15 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 10 minutes. Okay. Selecting treatment power, press the power button. There are four intensities. Okay, so lowest. Two, three, four. Okay. Starting treatment, press on off. Oh, look at that. And that does look like laser light. So I will I'll give myself a treatment on my back of my hand here where you can see all the scarring from years of working outdoors. Oh, I can feel the healing. Mm, the blood is flowing. Right, okay. So if I press the on off button again, turn off. All right, you want to see it? Let's have a look here. And I guess, yes, there are some blue lights in there. Looks like I'm seeing one, two, three, four of them. Interesting. Okay. Tells you different points you can apply it to. <laughs> okay. Okay. Do not use this if you are pregnant, have cancer, or a hemorrhagic disease. Specifications, laser wavelength 650 nanometers, plus or minus 20 nanometers, 810 nanometers, plus or minus 20. Output power, 5 milliwatts, or 150 milliwatts. Continuous, 1950 milliamp hour battery, input power less than 10 volt amps, working environment. Blah, blah, blah. 
checklist. This is a product 3R laser. It can create glitz. I don't know what a glitz is. But yeah, definitely don't shine into your eyes. Do not put it in the bathtub. Please be gentle. Do not beat your neighbor over the head with it. Well, in little diagram as to like how deep the different lasers go. The 808 nanometer infrared laser penetrates skin up to 5 to 7 centimeters and targets pain relief in the deep area. The 650 nanometer red laser penetrates skin 2 to 3 centimeters and improves blood circulation. Together, they create pain relief. Okay. Green phototherapy. There's not a green light in the entire thing. All right, then. Let's see what there is to see. This is probably where the battery and most of the electronics are living here in the handle. One second, please. All right, I think I got it. screws to keep my screws together and we're gonna need this budger that was the whole thing gonna come off Give me a second here. Pardon me. All right. <clears throat> I think we're getting better here. It's just all clipped together. Man. This is some tight clipping. We do not want you in here. Wow. One moment. Jeez. All right, we got her open. And there was a screw hiding in there, and I kind of break the debt. But that's all right. Man. All right, so starting down here, you can see we have our lithium ion battery. And then when we get up here, we can see the control stuff. So, we've got a chip here that reads, what's it read? My eyes aren't so great. Can you guys make out what that says? TIA. Too hard for me to read. That's our control chip there. We got an LCD on the back, couple buttons there. The interesting stuff I want to see is in this head here. So let's uh, zoom out. Let's see what we got here. Now, to me, it looked like the head would swivel, but obviously it doesn't since it's screwed in place. Really? You're going to make me try and open this up too? All right. Oh, one moment. All right, you can see my feeble attempts at getting in there. It's not going to let us in. And I really don't want to destroy this. But if you take a look inside of there, you can see, hang on, there we go. You can look inside there. You can see the tails from the laser diode soldered in there. So it is actual lasers for each one of these devices. Hmm. 
Well, I guess there wasn't that much to evaluate, was there? So, when you get down to it, what do we really have here is a power supply, a display, and a timer. Does it work? I don't know. I'll tell you what. I'll use this thing twice a day. And we'll see if it makes any difference on my scars. I don't think it will. But. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. And a big thanks to the company that sent this out to me. That's it. I'm out. Peace.